Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you for all of your love and support. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Libra. So you have, like I said, more than... I'm going to keep these cards here. You have more than one person in your energy. Because here you have this emperor in the reverse. You have this king of cups here and this, this king of wands. But here you have this king of cups. This person is obviously disappointed because of an ending. Okay? But somebody here... If you notice too, you have the judgment and the temperance. There's there's double set of, of, of angel wings here. The angels have heard you cry. I talked yesterday, the last time I did a reading about calling on Archangel Michael and Archangel Raphael because Archangel Michael has been working overtime to come in and to protect you from these lower energies but now it's like you're needing to call on archangel Raphael to come in and actually heal you um i also spoke maybe a week or two ago about the different demonic entities that are totally against marriage okay something or someone has conjured up these dark spirits in um entities to attack anyone that's going towards marriage um especially these divine unions so unless you're calling on these warring angels to to help you you could for sure be at a loss so someone here has called on their their angels to assist them in getting rid of this entity okay somebody here already knows because they're seeing from whatever they sent out to track you and to watch you to monitor you that you made it out that you were still you were able to survive whatever this attack was this was a major attack i can remember a reading that i did a few months ago several months ago and i said that you know they're bringing out the worst of the worst to try to attack you at this time and so you need to protect yourself some of these battles, you guys, you have to learn, it's, it's, it's above you. You know, if you don't really know how to go to the Most High God, um, or, you know, your angels, ancestors, guides, whatever, or whoever you work with, you're, you're, you're an, an earth angel, you're, you're fighting up against like an actual demon, an entity. This is a very high-ranking demon. Even people, we, we speak about all oh, the Jezebel, Jezebel is a is a is a, a very very hard spirit to get rid of. When you start talking about actual demons, like they're they're not easy to get rid of. And the truth is, a, a demon can always come back if you're not sealing yourself in protection and really getting rid of it. It can always come back. Okay, somebody can can conjure these things up, and that's what happens. People, they do rituals and, and dark practices and they conjure these things up. They release them out to you. And if you don't, like I said, have the spiritual eyes to see or the, the, the type of mind that will really recognize what's happening to, despite all of the, the distractions in your life, this is how you will experience all of these delays. But it looks like you've met, you've heard there's been a war cry. You cried out. And I feel like your spiritual team is awakening. And I, I'm here to say, I'm, I'm happy that you finally called. Your spirit team is glad that in a time of need that you finally called. That's, that's how God is. God is like, you know, when when are you going to let me show you that I'm a miracle worker? You have to call, though. You have to open up your mouth and say something. Because in the middle here, you literally have the temperance with two star cards. This is someone here who, like I said, you are... You're fully in this this energy and power of being. I just heard you, but you're a deliverer. So you've had to go through a lot to be delivered from something dark here, but you have the power, the authority. You now have the capacity to deliver. Possibly someone else even 
because there is a call into leadership here, but you have double stars here and there's two set of wings here. And what's the very first thing though is your, your strength. You have to be tested here. So this is like some kind of initiation. I feel like you've been crowned. There's a crown of glory here. Look, there's a crown of glory for you. And whoever this person is that has been lurking in the shadows, very strong Scorpio energy with the moon, the king of cups, and the death card. Or someone could have used the black moon, which I think may have been, I don't know if it was the black moon. There was a full moon in Scorpio, I believe it was May 5th. Somebody could have actually been working for the last month or even longer to cause this attack, okay? And um, they sent this, this entity out. I don't know what the, the Scorpio full moon was May 5th. It was a partial lunar eclipse, okay? Pluto retrograde started May 1st. So Pluto is, is, is heavy Scorpio energy again. And plus the judgment here, more Scorpio energy. Something here that has been hidden, that has been causing, I heard death and decay. <laughs> decay which is a weird word for me to hear but it's causing things in your life to rot away to cause death that is being illuminated and what it has been most likely is someone has been someone in your life that you know or you may not know this person someone has been in the dark doing some very dark stuff and I definitely am picking up magic to send out things to attack you constantly. But this person is connected to you. There is a soul tie with this person. They are connected to you somehow because they're able to watch and monitor you. But again, this is a high level witch, wizard, or warlock that's doing this. This person is using a lot of heavy, heavy magic. Like I said, uh... I heard teleport. Let me find out. What does it mean to teleport? Teleport. Teleportation. Teleportation is the hypothetical transfer of matter or energy from one point to another without traversing the physical space between them. Okay, so... The ability to instantly move from one location to another without physically occupying the space between. So this right here to me feels like um, almost like demonic possession. So somebody could be using magic to help them to teleport where it's like this person. And it goes back to even remote viewing. This person can kind of show up in your energy at any time. And I hope I'm not trying to scare you. But there are people who have these abilities. Someone here practices a lot with like telekinesis and perhaps, I guess, teleportation. What was the other thing I said? Mind mapping. What does it mean? Mind mapping. So mind mapping, just to hear the term, I'm assuming would mean that. So th this is someone in your life that has done this or someone has been hired to do this. Mind mapping. A mind map is a diagram used to visually organize information into a hierarchy, showing relationships among pieces of the whole. It is often created around a single concept drawn as an image in the center. Okay, but mind mapping. This, this is a lot with like business and psychology. I don't know mind mapping in spirituality, what that means. But if you listen to mind map, you could be seeing spiders a lot too. This is chaos. What is, there's spider mind mapping. It says spider mapping is called semantic map. It's a graphic organizer that can be used for brainstorming ideas aspects and thoughts of normally a single theme or topic 
Okay. It gets its name because of the way it looks. So, weaving ideas with, with a spider diagram. Hmm. Mind mapping. Mind mapping, spider diagrams, and concept mapping. So, this is like somebody is getting into your energetic field and, and trying to go into your mind to, okay, it makes sense now. This is, this is a lot of psychology. Um, what this person is trying to do is figure out how exactly will you react and respond to different things. Y'all, I feel like I'm going somewhere else with this. This this reminds me of the same energy that comes up from time to time. And I don't really even like to put these readings out. But it feels like there's almost like a human study here. I'm picking up it could be a, a person, a relationship. But this could be someone in your life that is tied into some type of study. So it's like someone is out here trying to study the mind of different people. Like, how exactly will you react or respond to this situation? You know, if I were to hurt you, how would you respond? You know, if, if I if I stomp on your toe, are you going to cry or not? If I break your heart, are you going to cry or not? It's, it's spider mapping. It's trying to put the dots together of how do you think? How do you react? How do you respond and I'm assuming th that this is, for some, if it's just regular stuff, like with a relationship, someone is trying to figure out how can they block you or how can they make you an offer. Someone is, is, is obsessed with trying to figure out how you think, how you operate, how do you plan, how do you brainstorm. This is really strange to me because I feel for a lot of you, this is someone in your life that is trying to figure out are the two of you like a good match or they know you're a good match and maybe they chose to walk away from you but now they're like wait a minute there was the missing piece somebody can't seem to map things out without it's like they need your spidey senses there's a way that you can weave things together that this person can't do but I'm assuming that they've been using your energy to do it, right? This could even be, because um, I see it happen even in tarot. If you, if certain people, if if you don't post readings, it's any, like somebody is codependent on how you think. If you, if you if you're the type of person you watch tarot frequently and that's how you get all of your spiritual messages, your guidance, if that person, your favorite reader, if they don't post or anything, you may feel lost. Somebody is feeling lost because they can't not, they can't map things out. Somebody, they, they, they just don't have your secret sauce. They don't, they can't weave things together. If you don't tell them how to do something or if they can't access your mind to get these, this information, then everything in their life, it crumbles. Because see, now this person is like, whoa, 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 what am I supposed to do? This person is sitting there, they've been waiting on some magic to work or something to happen, and it's not. This person is for sure experiencing a major blowback. Somebody thought that they were going to get some type of information from you or access you, and it came to an end, and now this person is shook. They're like, oh my goodness, what am I going to do? Somebody has been holding on or relying heavily on their emotional connection to you. And this has been hidden. This is someone here who is is a fraud. The emperor is here in the reverse. This person is a fraud, I feel. They, yeah. And if you notice here, you have this king of wands and this king of cups. Someone here is very disappointed. Okay. Both of these cards, this is low vibrational energies. All right. And both of these people look powerless. They look helpless. Okay. Okay. Then you have the King of Wands looking at the King of Cups here, looking at this Emperor in the reverse. So some there's another person in your energy. Ah, uh, okay, got it, got it. Somebody here is a counterfeit. 
you have somebody that's in your mind trying to mind map and conceptualize how things will be or trying to go back to certain things that have happened to you to make you think about them. For a lot of you, you could be in a new connection with someone. You have a person from your past that is using some very high level magic and a lot of technology. They are trying to figure out if they would have done life differently, how would it have been? But this is not your typical like, man, I wonder, you know, had I not gone to this place or done this, how would life be? And, you know, you have the conversation and you just, oh, it was a shoulda, woulda, coulda, move on. No, this person is obsessed with the fact that something didn't work out. Like, if I wouldn't have ever done this, this, and these are permanent things. Like, oh, had I never married that person? Had I never had kids? Like, things that no matter what you do in altering time, the amount of stalking, it'll never change this situation. There's too many permanent things here that have happened. So what this person is now doing is they are mind mapping. They're going in your mind to figure out how can they be the person that you want them to be because you now see that they are a counterfeit. You see them as false. You the, the mask is off. You know for a sure fact that this person, they're not the one. This isn't it. This person literally is trying to make themselves appear to be upright. Because in the middle of this King of Wands and this King of Cups is the death card. Whatever this person's mask is, whether this person tries to act like they're a King of Cups or a King of Wands, you now see both sides of this person. And in the middle here is the death card. You've put an end to it. You're like I, Gemini energy, two face right two heads you see how this person take action and how they operate emotionally and they're helpless now because everything is has been revealed about this person if this person has been doing black magic or whatever in the background even if you don't know all the specifics like i said you can recognize the energy enough to know that this right here, it's, it's a counterfeit. It's not real. It's not true. You see this person as a fraud and this person is like, wait a minute, what? They're being attacked now because they've been holding on to your energy. So what they're doing now is mind mapping. This person is trying to instantly teleport into your energy. So, so it's like this person is connected whenever you have, you know, if, if you feel fear or um excitement or whatever they're jumping into your energy and then it's like they're trying to plug and play like go back to the time where you felt that way about me so if you're just out with family friends and you're having a good time all of a sudden you may start thinking about a person or you'll be sad they're trying to make you feel like you need to think about when you was once with me or you need to stop thinking that you're going to have a good life with somebody else. Somebody here, this is some heavy, heavy mind control magic. What is the thing said? Spider mapping? Spider mapping. Mind control. This has a lot to do with, this is for sure, control. I just... This person has to be some kind of wizard because they. this person is obsessed with like science and metaphysics and how the mind works. And what is the problem? What the problem really is now is that for a lot of you, because I'm looking here at this king of cups and this fire, this Sagittarius like energy, temperance energy. This is going to give you fire and water. Okay, this has something to do with your emotions and control. Okay, your emotions and how they control your actions. You need to be very, very careful right now about this situation and make sure that you are practicing a lot of self control and practicing your own mind control. Okay, because this person is spiraling out of control because there's a new connection here. And I feel that the, the new connection that you have is with some type of earth angel. Now you're an earth angel, but you're connecting with an earth angel. This magician, they may not be the same sign or anything as this person. They could, their charts could be similar. This magician though is trying to make you feel very strongly 
that they're your person. They want to come off like they are this angelic being in your life. This person now, the page of wands, so they're taking all this action because here is the lovers with the empress and the world. You've closed out a cycle and you're going, it's something about you getting married or something like that. Like this person is like, okay, it was, it was all cute. It was fun when I could watch you, you know, if you were single, whatever, but somebody here is so obsessed with your energy that I'm telling you, it really is, um, it's very freaky because this person is like, I'm here, I'm seeing somebody like, hold like they're trying to hold your mind in their hands my goodness this is no joke like this is something y'all it's very serious and again on a higher level like on a more global level i would say i feel like there are groups of people that do this to the entire collective there is something out there in the universe right now that is really, really watching, tracking, and monitoring the minds of people, or this is something that is coming. And I've been, I've been saying this stuff now for years, and I know for a sure fact, I, I just read not long ago, like, this is like that brain chip type of activity. You, you may be connected to somebody that is a part of some type of secret service or agency where they may have some kind of intel or information about those types of um, studies that are being done because it's coming out very strongly here where it seems like a person, we talk a lot about, you know, the magic because we're just a spiritual community, but it seems like someone is obsessed with how you think and they're, they're trying to put you in situations to figure out how you will react and respond and it's probably so that it's it's something scientific. But there is a connection that has been lost. Some type of manipulation, some type of hacking, spying, monitoring, whatever. Something has been lost because somebody's like, oh crap, like they've been caught. Somebody has been doing this unlawfully. For some of you, you could have a person um, who had some kind of security clearance or access or something that they've used and or abused to watch you track you spy on you monitor you in some type of and it was it was unlawful it was 100 percent um a violation and somebody here either they know they're about to get caught or they have been caught because i'm telling you the way this king of wands king of cups is for both of these energies to be in this reading like this. And the emperor to be in the reverse. There's a somebody here is extremely skilled at shape shifting. Very skilled. Heavy Sagittarius energy here too. With their water and fire. Now, I don't know if, if you're dealing with the Sagittarius, you could be a Sagittarius, or if you may be dealing with the Sagittarius, either it's this person doing this to you, or you have a person that is very threatened by this sage-like energy, and they're trying to come off as if they are that person. Because there is another choice here with the lovers. This is, this has, a, for some of you, of course, this has a lot to do with some type of connection. It's a union. And you have a person, I'm telling you, some of you are connected with, like, some type of master, occultist or something. You may not have known it because this person has been an, an hidden enemy of yours. This person has been lurking in the shadows doing stuff to you for a long time, and you didn't know. And I feel that you've now decided to put, like, the nail in the coffin with this situation. This person is, look, judgment. This person has lost access to something. The queen of Stor wow. So some of you have been under some kind of mind control spell for a long time. And you're looking in the mirror. You're like, wait a minute. Who am I? What, like, what is going on? You're exiting the matrix. You've exited successfully. 
I, I literally just said nail in the coffin. This high priestess, she can see clearly behind the veil. Somebody here has covered up your intuition or done something that they had no business doing for their own personal gain. But see, whatever this is, this is a collect this is collectively happening. I, because all these people here, if you look at this judgment card, whatever this beast, this entity is that has been doing all of this stuff to people, to the divine chosen ones, the collective, these people are no longer dead. Like everyone has awakened now. They're, they're walking out and they're going exactly where they need to go. So something here was out in the, in the universe and people are waking up. This is a collective um, ascension that's happening here. And like I said, someone has put the nail in the coffin and called judge um, for judgment and justice on a situation. And now the wheel is turning. Like everyone now is going exactly where they're supposed to go. Like if, if you're with the dead, you got to go with, with the land of the dead. If you are, you know, going towards eternal life, like that's where you're going. But everyone must go where they have to go and look this death card here how we were standing in between the king of cups and the king of wands here this is i feel like the angel of death the grim reaper is coming in like for these people that have been feeding off of your energy saying listen you gotta go you have to get out of this person's energy like something here is completely over yeah it's an awakening that has happened somebody is waking up like wait a minute and for some of you if you have like a person that's trying to connect with you in your life, you know, possibly like a partner or something. The same way you're awakening, they're awakening. You know, if readings most of the time, like on YouTube channels, especially, you see mostly um, the demographics is mostly women viewing these readings. But a lot of these, we're going to say the Divine Feminine Collective, the masculines that you're going to connect with, they're also very much tapped in spiritually just like you so the same way you know that there's like an energy that's attacking your union and your person you have a person that you're connecting with that knows that you are being attacked by someone in your life or from a past life as well that's the reason why whoever this is lurking in the shadows is trying so hard to shape shift this person is trying very hard to make it seem like they are your person and the reason why it is so, so um, confusing to a lot of you is because when you look at the history that you have with this person, they've been around all along. They just have been doing things in the shadows to hurt you, harm you, or block you. Now, when you meet new people, you, ha you don't know who to trust. This energy, because of this mind mapping and teleporting, telekinetic, whatever this energy is doing, it literally can show up and be anything. This is an entity that you're fighting against. It can come and, and show up in your life and be in the form of anything or anyone that you want it to be, just so it can be around. This is like an entity that's in love with you. Like, seriously. Like a spiritual spouse, like I said, you have someone from your past. They're conjuring up some type of demonic entity to block you. But see, you have this Knight of Cups here. And look at this Knight of Wands, double Knight of Wands. Somebody here keeps rushing, again, teleporting. The Knight of Cups, I'm sorry, the Knight of Wands twice. Somebody here, when they want to bring love to you or when they want, I'm hearing, can I get a refill? When they want a refill of your energy, they teleport into you energetically. You see how this person is like, they come in and they're like, okay, it's cool. Now it's getting harder for this person to get into your energy. And now look, they're like, wait a minute, what? I feel like somebody came in for an energetic uh, withdrawal <laughs> and access was denied. The, the bank is empty. The account is in the negative. This person can't get anything. And they're like, wait a minute, I don't understand. So for a lot of you, fortunately... Whoever has been in the background doing this, whether it's a group, a person, or whatever, an entity, whatever, somebody has come in teleporting, using whatever kind of magic, mind map control. They were not successful, or they won't be successful the next time they try and do this. Because look, this person's coming in. Look at how the car is coming. They're like, I need a refill. I need some of that energy. I need it. So they come in quickly to try to get it. They pop in, boom, they pop back out. All right. 
it's harder. This person's like, oh, wait a minute. Look, the same cup. This person, I don't understand. They can't get a dose of whatever it is that you have. And they're looking closely into your life now. Like, why? Why can't I get it? And you can see on this person, this person is angry. Like, why can't I get whatever you have? I, because that, this person, they need it. They need it to survive. Why can't I get it? This is, this is a, uh, this is like, I'm telling you, it's like some type of entity. Look, and this person's like, I need, I need this by any means necessary. They, they're willing to come riding in backwards. They don't care. Like they will do anything to get this. And it's something about your emotions, your, it's this water, your emotions, your intuition, this person, ah, uh, this person has to connect to you, your emotions in order for this entity or whatever to be able to connect to your mind. If it gets connection to your, oh my gosh, if it gets connection to your emotions, it can connect to your mind. If it has connection to your mind, it'll know all of your moves. And therefore, if it's always in your emotions and in your mind, water and fire it'll always know how to take action to stop you you got to get to the root of whoever or whatever this is because it's an emotional connection that but i don't feel like for a lot of you i don't feel like this person is around you mm -mm. this person lurks in the shadows this is someone that you you've probably been connected to at some point and they've been blocking your life for as long as you met this person. But see, we found out why. This person is using mind control, teleportation, remote viewing. This person is into some very high level magic. You're dealing with like a master wizard or magician here. I mean, they're a master at this. And the things that they do, they're very skilled in cloaking. You don't see this person. And the thing about it is, oh my goodness, this person is not around you. They don't have to be around you because with teleport, this person can move quickly at any point. Like you said, they don't have to do anything physically to connect with you. It's just like um, people who do child, people who do like distance Reiki. This person is working with energy. energetically they're connected with you they don't have to ever be in your physical presence there's a, a portal or a gateway or something that this person is is tapping into or accessing it th that they yeah they're, they're getting into your emotions this person is checking your your energy this person is constantly it, it's a temperature check on your energy constantly like oh that person is happy today. Hold on, let me go in there and and sabotage that. Oh, wait a minute. That person is a is going towards the um an appointment or an interview today. Let me do something. Let me create chaos. So it's it's very clear what this person is doing. This person is using some type of distance energy work along with teleporting and some other stuff, so that every single time they're mind mapping. And then they're, they're realizing by getting this access to your crown chakra emotionally, how do you feel? How exactly do you think when you're under pressure? This person has learned this about you. So they're like, oh, okay, I'll tell you what. So you're happy to, you know, it's what we see happen. In the, every single time something good comes, boom, they shoot it down. That, that's what this is. Wow. Thank you, spirit. Death. Archangel Michael said, but enough is enough. Death. And see, this person here in this particular deck, when you see this, you see this person has this robe on and it's like other things out here. Nobody can can outrun death forever. Look, and Archangel Michael ain't playing because you see the king of swords here and then look at this chariot. This chariot here, look at how this person is looking at this entity. 
you figure something out. You're like, yeah, I see exactly who this is doing this. And this person has run out of energy. You're like, I see now who it is that's attacking me. Or you're about to find out who it is. And Archangel Michael is like, yeah. And I'm, I'm going to come in here and finish. Look here, his sword is down. His sword is up here. His sword is, Archangel Michael like, yeah, I'm glad. The only reason why this situation has not been finished is because you needed to know the full truth. But Archangel Michael's like, yeah, but now we can put a nail in the coffin because now you know who this is. You know what this is. You had to go through this in order for you to truly, truly learn about something concerning some type of entity. Look at this, the hermit. Somebody here is, is getting kicked out. They're going to forever be a hermit. There's no way they can ever come towards you. And look at that double queen of cups. You're free. You're liberated. And then look, the fool and the fool. Y'all, let me tell When I tell you about my channel messages i'm not talking about these cars i'm talking about my intuitive messages i'm listening this is exactly what i said before you have double queen of cups double fool what did i say one of for you to be free they have to go for you to be liberated they have to have this fall from grace and that is the reason why this person is constantly mind mapping and trying to control and get themselves into your energy because they know if you reach this level of freedom and liberation, that means that they are going to fall from grace. And there is nothing to hold this person up. The only person that has been holding this person up is you. I just heard DNR do not resuscitate. When this person faces this fall from grace and, and this ending comes, you're being told do not try to resuscitate this person. You need to let this go. Because in order, for, it's you or them. In order for you, you, it's like you're connected with a friend, a family member, or a lover who I feel is co like actually competing for you. Like they're, I'm sorry, competing with you. This is like a spiritual battle. Yeah, here's the tower, the world card, the king of pentacles, the sun, temperance, the high priestess. There's the queen of pentacles. See, there is a connection here between two people, but the tower and the sun is out here. Something here is being exposed. And what I really feel is being exposed is that a lot of you, the high priest and the, and the tempers, it has been exposed just how divine you are and the fact that you are supposed to be in a divine connection with someone else. You have the freedom to get out of this situation. The whole plan for this person or this group or whoever has been doing this to these divine beings was for you to honestly think that whatever whatever you have been given or these blockages, that it was just natural and normal. No, this was all planned. It was it was orchestrated. This this was a whole plot. This was organ this is like organized crime. Or organized spiritual crime. The Nine of Pentacles is here. Yeah. See, somebody here was trying hard to get away with this this fake phony facade that they they were the ones that was going to offer you something but you awaken just in time yeah you awaken just in time to get what was this to get what's yours somebody here was trying to get away with your energy with something that belonged to you and like i said archangel michael god was just like okay well, we know what's going on, but before we take this out of your life, oh my gosh, remember I did that reading where I was talking about the dream and I feel like I was picking up on like that entity and it was, it was like some kind of dragon or reptile or whatever it was and it had like, I think I remember it was five or six heads or something like that. But in order to get rid of each, it, like this, this entity, it, let me tell you something about entities. You will never have a glory story without a test, okay? You can't be mad at the, 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 the beast or the demon that comes your way. You don't earn your stripes unless you take this down. So you can't say, oh, I wish that that never would have happened. If it didn't happen, you never would have gotten an opportunity to have your glory day. In order to rank up, you have to battle something. Okay, so whatever this is you had to battle, it was it was just plan, it was part of the plan. 
But your spiritual team has seen it. They knew it. They, uh, God knows what battles come your way. Before they could come in and fully get rid of this, I feel like you started it and Archangel Michael, Archangel Raphael was like, well, we're going to come in and finish it. You have to learn how to surrender and say, I cannot fight this completely alone. But you also had to learn what you were fighting up against. See, if you're always in the light, you still from time to time are going to have to experience something dark for you to know what's out there. You can't just live in la la, live in lo uh, love and light land. Because it's, it's, it, there are beasts and demons and dragons. It's a lot of stuff out there that has to be slayed. And maybe you have the gift, the power, the ability to slay it, but you have to first encounter it, right? This is like something major that has happened spiritually, yeah. The Page of Swords. You have the sword of truth to see. A lot of you have finally gotten your spiritual set of eyes, or this is what's happening. You now can recognize how to, to discern something. Look at this. <laughs> the tower, broken. The wheel, broken. The contract, and behind it is the emperor. I don't know who this emperor is. For some of you, this is someone protecting you. For some of you, this is the person that you've needed protection from. You now can see the truth about this counterfeit here. For, for a lot of you, tell me, but what, why is this emperor here? But something here is over. And I feel that what, what, okay, thank you. This emperor here has been watching you, hoping that everything in your life crashes and burns. They can't watch you. This person, because you broke this contract, this person is now trying very hard to put us together. What this contract is, this is a cord. This person has some kind of cord, like I said, attached to you. And something, it can't happen anymore. You have become awakened. Um, see, once you learn what people are doing, it doesn't work. That's why you have to encounter this beast, this demon, this dragon. Once you know that people are teleporting, they can't do it anymore. Once you know that they're doing spell work, it, it weakens it. Your, your knowledge is your power. Truly. There's an offer that's coming to you. This person was trying to block this. Yep. And a lot of you, it's a very strong, strong connection. See, you tamed this beast. The self-control. You tamed a beast within yourself because I don't think you did anything bad. But you were able to figure out who this beast was. And then you still was able to treat it with love and light. This is this is a lot with transmutation. You saw the darkness. A lot of you, you was like, you know what? I'm just going to send that back to you with full love, light, and forgiveness and move on. You call, But you call justice. That's the reason why. It, yeah. With the magic here. Literally. Look at this. The magician, the justice card, the devil, the lovers. You call justice on this demon that was standing in between you and your higher level of connection and your, your commitment to yourself and to the most high. You call judgment on this. But see, you still did not go dark with this. You started it. I feel like Archangel Michael, Archangel Raphael, they said, we'll finish it. It was kind of like, baby, baby, close your eyes. Just move out the way because we, we know that you really, they're like, well, she she or he, they drew their sword, but we know that you, you're you not at the point yet where you're you're willing to to use it. But you did call on, on justice and Archangel Michael said, well, we just wanted to know would you actually draw your sword. You drew your sword, Archangel Michael said, don't worry about it, I'll finish it. Because a lot of you, you don't have the heart. To put the nail in the coffin on whatever this situation is. Because see, this devil, this is a devil that you loved. This, this is somebody that a lot of you, you know this person. But this person, they have to go. They do have to go. You, you can't protect them anymore. Wow, cut your cords. Dang. Vacuum away fear. See, let me see. How, how can I explain this? For those of you who are like this high priestess energy, you're going deeper into the darkness 
And you're being, I, I feel like whatever this lesson is, it has a lot to do with you protecting yourself. But what I mean, this is like protection magic versus and, and defense magic. Somebody is using black magic and all kinds of stuff on you, but you're still connected to them, right? I always say you got to take the devil off your prayer list. Your protection is still keeping this person. You're also, some of you are also afraid to call on justice for yourself because that means that a cord is going to be completely cut. So what spirit has done was they're like, well, I need to show you the real ugly, harsh truth about this person or this situation. And I understand you don't want to take them out, but I need you to understand that when you say the word, we're going to take them out. That's the reason why a few days ago, it said, the, have you asked your angels about this? Workshops and seminars, third eye chakra. See, some of you, you're about to go through some type of level up. And it's a part of your spiritual path and your purpose. It's a part of your purpose for your third eye to be fully awakened. For you to be able to see all things. But as you see love and light, you're going to see dark stuff too. And they're saying you have to stop being afraid to cut cords. You got to stop being afraid to protect yourself. You got to stop being afraid to call on God and the angels and let them know, hey, I got a demon on me right now. Like, it's a demon really trying to take me down. But I feel like here you are willing to forgive. You are willing to forgive and you decided to shield yourself. And it says you are profoundly clairvoyant. Trust what you see in your mind's eye as well as with your physical sight. For your spiritual vision helps you with healing, teaching, and guidance. Wow. Wow. Solar plexus chakra. It is safe for you to be powerful and take charge of your life in positive ways. And here we have parents and addictions. Clear yourself past life issues. Okay, some of you, this could be a parental figure. This could just be, like I said, a lot of codependency and other things that you have inherited from your parents or grandparents or, you know, ancestors or whomever. And it's like you're being told you have to cleanse and clear yourself and cut cords to the things that perhaps you really, really love that are harming you. It makes sense now. Yesterday was Father's Day. Some of you, this is not physical. Okay, see, that's what I'm saying. Everything is a cryptic message. Everything is not physical. For some of you, you could have a wound around a father, father figure. And I've said before, when you have a pain that runs so deep, it will manifest into an entity that will attack you. Somebody here, you have a pain that runs so deep towards a father figure. This could be the father of your own children. That it is manifesting into like, th like the spiritual attacks in your life. Because where God is trying to take you to a place of having this third eye chakra be open and being clairvoyant and being able to teach and help other people, you have to be willing to forgive. You have to be willing to release all toxic energies. Holding on to this resentment towards this person or this situation, it has to go. Because it is so toxic at this point that you... You're, you're unconsciously blocking things. There's something here that's eating away at a person that is blocking your like relationships and abundance. I said this at the very beginning and I'm obviously we went somewhere else. For some of you because of a wound that you have maybe from a father figure, this could be even from someone deep 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 down your your in your bloodline. 
because of something that was done, like I said, you most likely have had a lover that has come in and they're carrying the energy of that wound from this past life ish issue. It says this situation has a basis in one of your previous lifetimes. Ask your angels to help you remember, release, learn, and heal from your past experiences so that you can clear yourself. Some of you are meant to write some type of book or you, you are going to have workshops and seminars helping people on healing. There is a, it, there's a, a wound here with most likely because I'm just saying this because of Father's Day for some it's mothers, whatever. And the parents card is here. You're going to have to completely cleanse and clear yourself of some kind of negative heartbreaking situation, possibly with a parental figure, because that cord is making you open and susceptible. Like, yeah, it, it, it's it's creating a. Hold on, no, no, no. The wound from this cord is creating an access point for these lovers who come in and feed off of your energy. You have a, a person in your life, maybe a past lover though, that is very, very dark and wicked. Their access point to you is the pain that you have and the resentment that you have towards either your father or the father of your children. There is an energy out here of a masculine that somebody is so angry at this person that it's taking over your energetic field and it's inviting more energy like that into your life. We just went to Tarot Church today and then it's not Sunday. I know I know what I'm talking about in this one. This this has manifested. This pain has has festered in somebody for so long. And I may be picking up on the collective because you know Mother's Day and Father's Day are dates that bring up a lot of hurt and wounding for people. You miss those people if they're no longer with you or if you were abandoned, rejected, if you were hurt. These Father's Day, Mother's Day are very emotional days for people. And I feel like today my channel message is coming out where people, you know, um, you have these issues. We're going to say fathers because yesterday was Father's Day. You have an issue with a, a, a father figure, perhaps, you know, and then it leads to certain behaviors where you then have issues with maybe the father of your children. You know, and it's like being this fatherless man or woman in life and feeling so wounded, but being so powerful that you have to turn this power into some kind of pain. Because I'm telling you, the 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 you've given this wound too much power to the point that now it's it's causing you heartache and pain and it's inviting this type of pain. But the thing, the, the thing that ties together this, and I see it so clearly, you may have had a person in a past life or a parental figure who hurt you. You had an extremely dark witch, wizard, warlock, karmic soulmate. They came in and they fed off of the wound that, that was there. And that's what keeps them attached to you. It's uh, it's like a like a, a third party situation with pain. Until you fully cut the cord with whatever this situation is with this parent, parental figure. Because like I said, for some of you, it's a it's a spouse or the the father or whomever of your kids. Or you could be a father and you're carrying guilt and shame until you fully disconnect from this. Your power is on hold. It's affecting your solar plexus. It's making you feel like you don't really have the power to go out and be successful. But see, your third eye is awakening and it's showing you why all this is happening. 
it's also showing you how what is attacking you, you need to be using it to help you. Your enemy is mind mapping, spider mapping, or whatever. You need to do the same thing. You need to be able to go into your own mind and your heart and figure out what is causing these triggers for me. Brainstorm, why am I being triggered like this? Why is it that every time something good happens, it's followed by something negative? Mind map, because that's what your enemy is doing. You're going to have to get ahead of your enemy and cut the cords with it. And your enemy sometimes can simply be your thoughts. Wow. Wow. Your thoughts about a particular person, place, thing, or situation, most likely, like I said, maybe a parental figure or something that happened, it has become your enemy. It has invited in an entity, but it is leading you down a path of a lot of heartache, pain, and self-sabotage. And a lot of people are unconscious because of all of life's distractions. It's very, you know what, let me pick up this deck. Because this deck actually has something in here about the father. I wonder if it'll come out. You're being helped to become more empowered. But to become more empowered, you're going to have to address this situation. There's a deck that I'm missing. Dream big, okay? This this wounding here is standing between you and your biggest dream. Whatever you are trying very hard to manifest, this wound, this entity, this wound that has opened you up to this entity is what's blocking it. It says here, make a decision. Divine magic, say yes. And bless change. Let yourself receive. A helpful person, treasure chest, let yourself receive positive energy. This father wound is why you're not receiving opportunities and love in your, your divine purpose. You got to make a decision to tap into your own divine magic and say yes to these blessed changes. To invite this positive energy in. I don't care how many moon spells or moon magic or whatever somebody does. You're going to have to learn how to be quicker on your feet. And say, wait a minute, hold on. I see what's going on. I'm doing something good and here comes the enemy. But why? It, but, but this goes back to why are you feeling unworthy of something big here? You need to cleanse and clear yourself. But this is a real big situation here. And I know it's different for every person. Some of you, you've really been hurt by something or someone, or you've watched someone really hurt or, or you know, harm even someone that you care about. You know, this may not be your situation directly, but holding on to this, it's blocking your solar places because you haven't fully forgiven this situation or this person. And that's, that's the only way out. It's so many double confirmations out here. And God knows that you don't really have the power to do this. I'm, no, I'm sorry. God knows you have the power. Right now, you don't have the strength to deal with this situation. You don't have the strength right now to say, I know that the mother or father of my child is, is, a, is a demon. Or I know my mother or father is a demon. A lot of people don't have the strength. But God is saying, if you would at least just acknowledge it. I will, me and my angels, we will handle the, the rest. I just need you to at least acknowledge that I'm trying to get your attention and call you into mission. Acknowledge what I'm showing you and I'll do the rest. Because it is time for you to be able to see clearly behind the veil. But see, you had to do something with this. You had to encounter this demon for for. You to earn a badge of honor as someone who can truly see. Are you really a seer? Because a lot of people say, oh, I'm a seer. Really? Double high priestess, are you? Because th th this is bigger than just, oh, you know, the karmic, da-da-da-da. No, can you, can you really see what is needed to heal? 
that's what allows you to go out to actually be a real light worker. Some people are being called into a greater mission and purpose. In order for you to tell someone how to free themselves, you first have to free yourself. And I feel like you had to battle the, your biggest oppressor, what has been keeping you oppressed and, and all of these suppressed emotions. I'm seeing in my mind like the woman king. If you watch the movie, in the dream she kept having of being at war, you're at war with yourself because of a wound, a wound that you have from something that happened. And I know this this message may be very triggering for some, but you need to do you need to allow yourself to purge these emotions and cry it out or hash it out because something has happened to you or someone very close to you that has you very afraid to perhaps let a new blessed change into your life. And, and, and it's almost like you're afraid to see what lies behind certain offers and opportunities because you are afraid of the darkness that may come with it. You can't be afraid of the darkness. In, in all honesty, even when you fully love a person unconditionally, you're giving that person, there's always the possibility that they could hurt you. When you really love anything or someone, you're giving it the power to destroy you. It's a risk. It's a gamble that, that, that everyone has to take. But when you are very secure with yourself and in God, you know that nothing or nobody can ever actually destroy you. They may hurt you, but restoration and redemption is here if you really know God and, and you can connect with your higher self. Nobody can actually ever do like take you out with hurting you. But you have to stop letting these people or this pain delay you.